Mama, we want to say thank you for welcoming us and receiving us. And most importantly, we thank you for receiving this gift from the man of God, Prophet Isaka. So we appreciate the work that you are doing. And I want to also believe that the, the world out there is seeing what Mama is doing. Thank you, Mama. I think we are more thankful for what you have done for us today. We thank you. We thank the Prophet for having identified our home. I remember Puluano, sorry. <laughs> the first time when she came, she said, uh, the Prophet has already seen this place. And today I do believe that yes, what she said on that day was true. So I thank you all for taking so much time and coming out here to come and see us. And please convey our heartfelt thanks to the Prophet. Supporters and sponsors of Save a Dying Soul Foundation, I just want to say thank you and appreciate all the donation that you've been making towards this foundation. I pray that the Lord bless you and increase you and expand your territory. Thank you very much. And we also want to say thank you for the man of God, Prophet Isaka, who has given us the opportunity by allowing God to use him for this kind of work. Indeed, the ministry of Jesus Christ has not stopped, but it continues. As he said, go out there and make disciples. But how do you make disciples without acknowledging their needs? It is through acknowledging their needs that when you see the need, as children of God, as Christians, we come together and we extend our help, our hand of giving. So once again, viewers of Rafa TV and also those who are supporting Save a Dying Soul International Foundation, I want to say thank you. Amen. I would like to send my special thanks to Prophet Isaka and uh, Save the Dying Soul International Foundation during this period of uh, hardship uh, by donating to what's uh, uh, the good cause for our Ch uh, Shalin's uh, place of safety. Uh, in Harangua, may the God bless you more so that you will be able to assist others who are like uh, us here at uh, Shalin's place of safety.
As I mentioned to you, that we've got five children, um, five children in wheelchairs. Um, this is Kahiso. Kahiso is, as you can see, disabled. His mum is a single parent. She's unemployed. So she brought him over here for us to assist her so that she can have the opportunity to look for employment. And this is Sia. Uh, Sia is also, as you can see, uh, disabled. His mum also a single parent, she works as a cashier, works part-time, so very difficult to be able to take care of a child like this. It is actually amazing how few places there are for children, or, or let me say for parents who have children like this, where they can leave their children and the children are being taken good care of. This is little June. Uh, June is actually from outside of the country. He's from Zimbabwe. He was born in South Africa, but the unfortunate part is his mom is Zimbabwean. She's unable to get a birth certificate for June. Uh, we don't know what the challenge would be the day anything happens to June, because he does not have any papers proving that he is a South African. His mom is a single parent. He has two other siblings, but June's mother came here on a Sunday afternoon begging us please to take care of the child because her boyfriend was very abusive and she was scared that he would eventually kill June. So June has been with us for quite a while, a very brilliant little boy. He's learning to talk and everything now, so June is fantastic. He just eats far too much. That is, that is my problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> June eats too much. This is Itumileng. Itumileng is from outside Kalinan. She's from Rifilwe. Itumileng was removed from her grandmother and her mother. Terribly abused. She came here on Mandela Day last year. Social worker dropped her off here. Unfortunately, Itumileng is, is 13. She turned 13 now on the 2nd of April. Um, she's blind. She's partially deaf and disabled for that matter. So we have to take extreme good care of Itumileng. <coughs> this is, this is Mary Anki. She's the one uh, that is still recovering that we had to take to the doctor, okay, to ensure now that she gets the proper care. Uh, Mary Anki, her mom is also a single parent, unemployed. The mother is taking care of her late sister's children. So uh, for, for her to come here is also a matter of she's disabled. She's got a feeding problem too, for that matter. She's got a feeding problem, so basically we have to force feed her, all right? So each one of the children has a different challenge, okay? Uh, this is our children's, uh, our children's bedroom. Uh, as I said, the beautiful bedding that you brought for us is going to make our beds look much better. So this is where the children sleep. Uh, this area over here, we use as a classroom, okay? We use this as a classroom. We normally line the kids up over here with their wheelchairs, and our kit is underneath 
there's the educational kit underneath the, the table there. So we use this as the classroom as well. And this is why we were saying that we really need to build a classroom outside so that at least the children can have a place where they know this is now classroom and they, that is where they are being educated while we continue now with the preparation of their meals and whatever else goes along with it. This is our bathroom area. We do our laundry here as well. We would love to have a laundry outside because our washing machine can go for the whole day. You know, uh, I mean, considering 14 people in the home, you can imagine the amount of washing, and especially with disabled kids as well, you've got to constantly be changing and cleaning. So it, it, it takes quite a lot. It takes quite a lot. This, this is our garden area, okay? We try as much as we can during the summer months to be able to plant some vegetables in order to sustain the home. The unfortunate part here is that we have lots of termites. So just about everything you plant, the seed is eaten up by termites. But yes, you just have to keep on carrying on and being persistent, keep on planting. Where the food doesn't come up, you plant again, okay? We do not have any playground uh, toys or material or things with which we can keep our children occupied, okay? Uh, so, yeah, there's, there's just so many things that, uh, that need to be done in order to make the place comfortable and to keep the children happy for that matter. So this area over here outside where we are standing now is the area that we would love to be a classroom for the kids. We would like to have uh, something like joining to the house over there joining to the house over there, open a door there where our window is and bring it right down to the bottom over here. Uh, when we measured, it would be something like eight meters by four meters going that way, which would then give us enough space uh, to accommodate the kids. Of course, yes, there's going to be a lot of work to be done because it's being especially designed now for children with disabilities. Mama, we as a Saving Dinosaur International Foundation as I said earlier, that the man of God, Prophet Isaka, has sent us to meet you in this time of challenges of COVID-19. So we have here the groceries and the blankets since we are here in Johannesburg and not so far we'll be entering our cold season. So we have the blankets for you. We also have the pampas saying that you've got many little children who are using this kind of uh, things. So uh, we also have a lot. We have some foodstuffs also the washing powder, just to share with you and give to you so that you can use in this time of challenging of COVID-19. So this is only the beginning. This is only the beginning. So the man of God sends this gift and I believe that as you receive them, many doors of many foundation, many people to give will be open for this center. I thank you very, very, very much once again to everybody who has come together and put shoulder to the wheel. Thank you for lightening the burden of us being locked down. I certainly appreciate it very much. And believe you me, our children are going to be so blessed. We can only pray to God that he can bless you more and more and that he can open even more doors for us. I thank you very much for the wonderful gifts. You make me feel like the time when Jesus was born and the wise men came bearing gifts, I certainly hope that we are blessed in that way as well. We appreciate the gifts very much. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank you very much for the staff. As part of committee, I'm a police of safety. Karata hole bea di juzi ka nakuze tata. It's a coronavirus. As much as the truth is a barabaga muhumu, leba bamba ilungu rabati. So karato lebo. I would like to send my special thanks to Prophet Isaka and uh, Save the Dying Soul International Foundation during this period of uh, hardship uh, by donating to what's uh, uh, the good cause 
for our Ch Shalin's uh, place of safety uh, in Harangua. May the God bless you more so that you will be able to assist others who are like uh, us here at uh, Shalin's place of safety. Most of my thanks, I will be basing them to what's a, a, safe and, a safe a Dying Soul International Foundation. Without them, we wouldn't be able to uh, help the kids that are uh, in need at this, uh, during this period of time.